No, we're just gonna have trespassing. But there's cops everywhere, so I can. Have you ever won the sneak in somewhere before, or eliminate an enemy threat and couldn't? Well, now you can with your VR. Let me explain. Welcome to my poor man's green screen. First, we need to explain how a VR works. So, a VR has four cameras on the side of it to help it track where it is in the real world. And to give a description of what this is. <clears throat> the VR tracks through the luminosity and reflectancy of an object by triangulating a point onto said object and then putting multiple points around the edge of that object to track where it is in the room, making a 3D map of its area. This is known as constellation tracking. Now, using the cameras on the VR, this is what we're going to exploit to make it into night vision. Now, with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to take LEDs that emit infrared light and line them up into a grid known as an LED matrix. These LEDs will then reflect off the objects around them, emitting the light back at the cameras, allowing you to see. Now, you may be asking, why am I talking about infrared lights when they're cameras? Well, the VR sees for infrared. So you may be wondering, what is infrared? And what is the scale behind me? Well, infrared is basically just thermal radiation. There are various forms of light, but infrared is beyond our reach, like visible. In fact, about most of the things on this scale here are about, probably about 98% not visible to humans. And infrared is just beyond the side of our visible light spectrum, which is RGB or the rainbow. And it's just beyond the far side of the red, hence the name infrared. Lastly, I 3D printed a casing to protect all the circuitry that holds the battery, the wires that connect all the matrices, and the switch. And here is what the headset looks like now that it's completely done. So for the first test, we decided to go to El Toro Marine Air Base, an old abandoned base in SoCal, California, that was closed down about 20-ish years ago. So we decided to start in the most south part of the region of the base. Except when we arrived, all that was there was just a dust bowl. Absolutely nothing was there except for a singular woman's restroom and nothing else. Only a woman's, no men's, because they're sexist. So we decided to move more north of the base where it still appeared the runway is mainly intact and there is definite buildings over here. Except when we arrived there, we found this. Yes, that's right. What we found was an active rock concert and what was supposed to be an abandoned de- Well, we, we tried, we tried sneak in, it didn't work. Um, if we would have had an air tag, we would have pulled you in Iraq, but it, <laughs> we weren't expecting this. Now we're going to try and go out on the runway and hopefully not get caught by military police. So obviously that didn't happen. So we moved to a new location, which was the other abandoned part of this base, which is about a mile away, which is where the old abandoned limp hangers and this place was beyond perfect it was broken down it was pitch black so it'd be the most perfect place to test night vision there was one problem the headsets two main power cables decided to short out it's destroying and frying all the electronics in the entire headset and on top of that I was a big ooga booga brain and forgot to change OBS's recording file so I lost all the footage so after all that, we had to throw out the old design and make an entirely new one, known as Mark II. So with the second prototype, I decided to use IR LED strips to pretty much reduce and minimize the risk of it shorting out to basically zero. And these worked way better, by the way. I also decided to 3D print a new housing for it to make it like a light ring that went around the entire headset rather than just in the corners. And we decided for what better testing location in Huntington Beach, a place known for its crackheads and weirdos. Du -du -du My name is Sean. Welcome to Huntington Beach. And like I said, crackheads. And it works. It works better than I could have even imagined. So after all this, we decided to finally go back to where it all began. But before we do that, I wanted to mention, check out this cool dude. He had like two snakes named Spaghetti and Meatball and like, let us hold them. Shout out to that dude. <laughs> Come on, it's Sal. It's Come on, it's Sal. It really doesn't want to do anything besides like, do not entertain hang around. But with that, after all that we've been through, all the failed footage, the missed shoots, the disconnects, broken headsets, it's time to finally go back okay. to the abandoned fire station. Test to see 
if it truly worked in pure blackness and then be able to navigate in a weird environment such as this. Mission success. It, you can see everything in the void of this building. I could have been happier with how this came out in function. This is cooking with Eric. Chef Eric, you know I had a cooking class actually with Chef Eric. Let's see, we got a very triangle shape here. This is obviously pizza. And uh, yeah, that's cooking. And if you're wondering why this headset doesn't have a green tint like most night vision, it's because there's a couple different types of night vision. And the most common most people see is something for a process known as image enhancement. Because it's basically just a regular camera that is brightens digitally to the max and then overlay with a green tint. So I consider that a pretty successful invention. This time it actually worked. Uh, this is only part one of this video. There is another part two coming on soon where we're going to go invade a uh, rich Hollywood, some kind of rapper's person's party. I'm not really sure, but one of my friends is going to get us in. I'm going to do like an impractical Joker's thing. So that's part two. So this, this is a series video. So this is not the end. Vid Summit. Um, hopefully I'm going to be there. You should go because a bunch of other future creators are going. If you want to be a creator, like really big people, way bigger than me, or I'm more intelligent on the subject, we'll be speaking there. So you should go. Hopefully I'll be there. Oh my goodness, I can get a free ticket. If you guys like to support me, I have a Patreon. Or if you'd like to just help to get this channel started and donate maybe even just a buck for it one time, we have a GoFundMe. Um, I'm really poor and I like to continue doing this, so support is, is very much needed. It's not a moment all you past viewers have been waiting for. The giveaway. Our winner for the last giveaway is Approved Trash. Yay. And then for this day's giveaway, we are giving away this failed large 3D print that was oversized because the printer was up. And the drunken wristbands and that were those two people that I made a really overly long segment in the video about. Um, so to the most liked, they will get the ring, and then to the most funniest, we'll get that one. Please subscribe. I really want to hit 100k by the end of this year. I want to have that play button hanging up on that wall right over there. So yeah, that would really mean a lot if you could just subscribe, and it's the freest way to support me. Anyways, I will see you, or I should say, I will see the camera in the next video, and you'll see me on your screen. Later. Six piece sad meal.